My observations are now all but finished. Only one more day until the ritual is to be completed. You're coming for me, aren't you? You're out there right now, desperately clinging to the idea that you must stop me. That you're right to stop me. I've sensed you're coming for a while, but I wasn't so sure. I could trust my senses at all this time. You'll understand, I'm sure. My dear sister, always doing the right thing, even if it means spitting in the face of everything we stand for. My hope is that this place forces you to reconsider my position. I await your arrival, sister. I pray you have come to your senses by the time you arrive. Then again, you are a Korea. And much like myself, you were stubborn to your last breath. I wish you luck, sister. You're gonna need it. I've fought monsters as big as warships, slain creatures with a stronger lust for blood than myself in heat. I've walked across lands wider than a temple mother's saggy tits. And sadly for everyone, I'm still alive. This, however, will be my toughest challenge yet. I might die, but if I don't do this now, I will suffer a fate far worse than death itself. Here goes. Albus, we're here. Are you all right? I need to pee. What? Don't you dare make a big deal out of this. You need to... Wait, does, does this mean that you... Albus, I don't need anyone's help, York, is requesting assistance. Vinny, I swear to all the gods above. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm hearing. Sister, is this another Eldritch illusion? Or either of you gonna come down here and help? Oh, I almost threw up. Oh, that was weird. Are we going to... What did you say? <laughs> Devlin, I will fuck you up for this. Oh, is that all? Bye then. Wait! Don't go. I need her. I need her. Hair. You need hair. Come on. You almost got it that time. You are so fucking lucky. I can't move. Okay, okay. We're on our way. Big baby. Bow. 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 Fuck. Stop moving around so much. Oh yes, because I'm completely in control of this full body prison. Oh come on, it's not full body, it's just most of your body. I should slap you for that. Do it. Keep talking like that and I will. Such scorn. You know a spiteful paladin doesn't pass through the gates of Emprazil. Fuck you and your pearly gates. When my time comes I'll fuck up Emprazil like I fucked up Clan York. You know, you'd think that would get to me, but... After being around you long enough, I find that you're kind of adorable, Albus. How fucking dare. Ooh, and now you're growling at me. I've learned it's your last resort for when people don't listen. It's your way of instilling fear. It would be incredibly scary if you weren't currently pants down over a bucket. Devlin, this is the only time I'll do this, but I am begging you. Walk into my closed fist and knock yourself out right now. And miss the action? Albus, I could never. Oh, you want action, do you? <laughs> Lie down and open your mouth. I guarantee you won't miss a thing. And neither will I- Ow! Okay, okay, I'm sorry, sister. It's just so refreshing having him rely on us for a change. You have to admit it's rather cute seeing him struggle, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> what? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, fuck off to both of you. Let me piss in peace. <laughs> you see? Poor old Albus. Don't you fucking touch me. Whoa, okay, sorry. 
Right, fun's over. I'd better go back to the bridge. Got to make sure the ship doesn't end up in another red level event. <laughs> Someone's chipper. Pisses me off. What am I doing, Amichi? Where can I take this damn thing off? You don't know. <laughs> well, it better be soon. We're almost there. Just gotta get through one last hurdle. <clears throat> All done. You can take me back now. What's wrong? Why are you turning away from me like that? Oh. <laughs> oh, gods above, you're so innocent. There. You happy now? <laughs> so precious. Well, oh, back to bed then, yeah? I'm sure you've got a lot of work to do around the ship, so I'll make this fast. That's one way to work out. What? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. Hey, why do you bother asking? Every time you come here, you ask me that like a dozen times. And every time I say, I'm fine. So what's up with that? You're just trying to take care of me, huh? Okay, whatever. You can go now. You wanted to ask me something first. <laughs> Is it, am I okay? Kravitas? Oh, okay. Well, I know he's a demon, but not much else. Don't exactly know what you expect from me. What did I mean by, I'm the one he wants? W what are you talking about? Back when Devlin was possessed. Oh, right. Uh, that. <laughs> Surprised you remembered. Um, uh, it was uh, just a heat of the moment type of thing. Don't read too much into it. Something you think I need to tell you. <laughs> Thanks, but, uh... No. No, I don't think so. Because if I did tell you, what good would it do? Best you not concern yourself with the woes of a bastard. Best the young servant of Syndagorn focus on her own sins, so that she might be redeemed in the eyes of the purest lord of honor and valor, yeah? Hey, don't worry. I'm still here to protect you, okay? I'm under contract after all. <laughs> well, the point still stands. You, uh... You okay? <laughs> you're fine too, are you? Oh, you're so funny. My, um... <clears throat> my, uh, mother was a sister paladin, you know. She was a servant of the orphan god, Trigus. She was, uh, pure of heart too, or so I'm told. That is until Knight Paladin York showed up and put a baby in her. <laughs> She tried so hard after I was born to convince her fellow brothers and sisters I wasn't a bastard, and that I shouldn't be marked. To make matters worse, York denied ever meeting my mother. Still, even after I was marked, it didn't stop her from trying to get into the clan. Gods, I remember those days so clearly. I was just a kid living on the streets in East Trent's, digging for scraps just to get by. When I was old enough, my mother sent me to the Order's Academy to become a knight. Of course, bastards can't get past the initial ranks if we don't get praise from the upper ranks, but uh, that didn't matter to my mother. Her plan was to showcase my eventual fighting style to Clan York, show them how similar it was to the Knight Paladins, make that her evidence I was his son and we get safe passage into the clan. But they rejected us at every turn. They choose who they let into the clan. They didn't want scum like us. She never gave up, though. <laughs> She'd tell me all the time how much better our lives are going to be. But then I figured it out. My mother? <laughs> she only cared about being with the Night Paladin again. <laughs> she couldn't care less about me. I was just her meal ticket. So after getting angry and screaming at her a bunch, I ran. Left Trent's behind, found my way to Kansas and got drafted by Sandy to complete my training. Except this time, it was just to complete my training. Good and proper. I wasn't fighting to prove anything to anyone. 
I was fighting to live. And so the rest, as you can guess, is cold bloody history. <laughs> My point to this story is never to regret anything. Sure, you may think life was better before, or that it could have been better if you tried harder or something. But you gotta remember the bad times. And you tell yourself, never again. Never again will I live like that. Oh, they'll tempt you. They'll do it all the time. They'll, they'll give you false promises and, and guilt trip you into doing things you hate. And when you finally deny them, oh, well, they won't respect you for it, I'll tell you that much. But you know what? Fuck them. Respect yourself first. In time, you'll realize you're the only one you can trust. Do I trust myself? <laughs> you tell me. <clears throat> Listen, I don't know if any of that helps you or not. I'm not exactly one to give out advice. You got what I was saying. <laughs> you, you were actually listening to all that shit. Well, uh, that, uh, well, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> flustered? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not flustered. D don't you start. S stop, stop it. I'm, I'm not blushing. <laughs> That's cheating. Not serious. Seriously, stop. Ow! Ah, it hurts to laugh. <laughs> oh, I can't even move. Oh, <laughs> oh you suck. You have another question. Okay, what is it? How do I know my mother was telling the truth about York? Well, you have a point. Old Mumsy is many things, and a liar would be one of them. If I'm completely honest with you, I don't really know why I believe her. Maybe it's a small piece of me that has some form of hope. <laughs> Stupid, really, isn't it? You don't think so? You're a cute one, I'll give you that. Well, it's not like anyone else has stepped forward to claim their prize. So, until that happens, my name is Albus York. Much to the dismay of many, I'm sure. Ah, speak the demon's name and he shall appear. What are you blathering about now? Oh, I was just talking to Faithful here about the proper curvature of a good cock. I'm told yours is somewhat lacking, brother. Are you ever going to tell me the truth? Would you believe me if I did? Point taken. In any event, sister, when you have time, I'll need your help realigning the stabilizers. Normally I'd get Albus to do it, but, well, obviously that can't happen. I hope you're not expecting a sorry for the disappointment. When you're done patching Albus up, head to the engine room. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, <laughs> a private moment alone, eh? Remember, brother, the gods are always watching. What? <laughs> Why do I keep teasing him? Because he needs to hate me. They all do. If any one of my brothers or sisters decides they want to be friends with me, well, they get the boot from the clan. That's just the way it works. Why do I care? Oh, why indeed. Faithful, can I tell you something? Don't tell Devlin I said this, okay? I'm serious, please. I won't make any other request of you this whole trip, okay? That's a promise. Yes, other than getting paid. Priorities. Okay, the truth is... I really care about my brothers and sisters. Yes, even Devlin. <laughs> as much as I rag on him, Devlin, he's... He's kind of amazing. He's one of, if not the youngest Forge Master in the world. He single-handedly designs ships, he built this ship, which he's currently running all by himself, by the way, and, despite everything we've put him through, he's still here. He hasn't given up. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. But I can never tell him that. Because if one day he decides he likes me being around, he's out of the clan. And a man with no people is not a man for long. Trust me, I should know. And I can't do that to him. I will not destroy him. I won't destroy any of them. It's why I play the villain. <laughs> well, there you go. Now you know the family drama. 
Don't ask me why I bother, <laughs> because I don't really know myself. All I can really say is, <sighs> go see him. Maybe you'll see what I see. Just don't tell him I, I said any of that, okay? You promise? Okay. Thank you, Faithful. Hmm? Oh, hey! Ready to get started? The stabilizers are controlled by these valves, but they're quite heavy. I was working on a plan to use a long pipe to add some leverage, but it's still too much for just me. I need you to get on the other side of the valve. I'll slide the pipe in through the wheel and we turn it together, okay? Excellent. After we turn it to the correct angle, we'll need to lift the whole tube and slide it back into place. You all right, sister? You look like you have something on your mind. Do you want to talk about it? Well, if I were to hazard a guess, I'd say it has something to do with Albus. Am I correct in that assumption? It always seems to lead back to him, doesn't it? I can't say I'm surprised. He's quite the topic of conversation back home, too. Although we weren't allowed to bring him up too often, especially around my mother and father. Here, grab that end for me. Whew. Yeah, that's a lot easier with two people. Better roll up my sleeves for this part. You know, I never wanted to believe Albus was my father's son, but I see more and more of my father in him every day. It can't be true, can it? I mean, I've heard of knights going off and having children during away missions before, but my father, it just... Sorry, I don't mean to go on about family drama. Grab the tube by its base with me. Okay, here we go. God's above, that's heavy. But we did it. I knew we could. All right, now for the next one. Sister, is it wrong of me to feel jealousy towards Albus? God's above, it feels so weird to say that out loud. Yes. Yes, I am jealous. I'm jealous of his courage. How does he do it? How does he go out there knowing full well no one wants him? How does he fight monsters and enjoy every minute he's alive while all I can do is watch from the sidelines? I don't get it. Saying all of this makes me think I'm going crazy. Sorry, sister. You probably don't want to hear any of this. Well, thank you for listening. You won't tell Albus, will you? I don't know what he would do if he found out, but I might get disowned if word got out to the clan. You do me a great service, sister. You have feelings for him, don't you? Sorry, I don't mean to pry, but I think it's kind of obvious. <laughs> you don't know how you feel. Well, I suppose that makes sense. This isn't exactly the best place to fraternize anyway, but... I... I really care about you, and... I want you to be happy. What I'm saying is... I think you should be with Albus. I see the way you two look at each other. He makes you happy. I see that all the time. Normally, I'd tell you to run for the hills rather than get with him. But if you're planning on leaving everything after this mission, you should take him with you. I know he'll keep you safe and... And you can keep him safe too. What about me? Well... All right, you got me. When you were in Albus's mind, I had a lot of time to think and overthink. I won't deny that I have feelings for you, but I'm not so selfish as to put my feelings before your own. If you find that you want to be with Albus, yes, I'll be sad, but like I said, I'll be rooting for you too. You have a great dynamic. 
What's your dynamic? Well, it's something that led me to coin the term wild and free. <laughs> Which one are you? Ah, that's the beauty of it, sister. You can choose to be one or split both. Well, we're just about done here. Thanks again for helping me, sister. Well, I, uh, better go check on the autopilot program. Could you check in with Albus? We're approaching this zone surrounding Emprazil, and I'm not quite sure what we'll be facing. Albus might know a thing or two about it. Best of luck, sister. Do you see the river bay? Why can't you see that? Is this really going to be the sky? There's a difference between doing what's right and I need sister. Look at me. No, no, don't look away. Look at me. Touch me. See, touch me. I'm here, alright? I'm right here, okay? I'm actually here. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe for a minute, okay? That's it. That's it. It's just an illusion. Hey, hey, don't look at it, okay? Look at me. Look at me. Look, look me in the eye. Okay, in the eye. Alright? Look me directly in the eye. Okay. I need you to think. Remember that final hurdle? This is it, okay? So you have to focus. We have to find Devlin. Faithful, look at me. Look at me. Okay, I know you're scared. I know. Where is Devlin? Where's Devlin, okay? Faithful, where is Devlin? The bridge. The bridge. Okay, give me a sec. Hold my hand. Uh, hello? Devlin, it's me. Albus? What? But you're right here. You're... What? Where did you go? We haven't been to the bridge, Devlin. What? Why? Uh, how? I'll explain later. We'll come to you. Hold tight. Oh, and when we get to you, reach out and touch us. Make sure we're real, okay? Okay, be fast. Come on, Faithful. <clears throat> what? Come on, we have to move! My bandage is split. It's fine, we don't have time to- <clears throat> Okay. Okay, but be quick. <sighs> How many times have you patched me up now, huh? <laughs> I've lost count. Why am I not affected by the visions? Oh, I am. I'm seeing shit right now, actually. Thing is, I've uh, been here before. Well, I guess trapped here is a better way of saying it. Ah. Well, that... Well, that feels good. Can I move yet? What do you mean, no? We don't exactly have a lot of time here, you know. Hey. Hey, what's wrong? Okay, okay, I get it, you're helping. You don't have to shout. What? <laughs> you want me t to tell you you're not useless? Is, is that what this is all about? Oh, <laughs> Faithful. You're so precious. No, no, I didn't mean to patronize you, I just... I like it. I said I like it, okay? Don't make a big deal out of it. Hmm. Giving me another drill, I see. Oh, I'm not complaining. Actually, I'm quite proud. It's like I'm wearing a crest into my next battle. Hey. Thanks for patching me up, Faithful. Oh, I, I don't mean, like, just for this time. I mean, like, all the time. You've always been there to do that for me. Although, you're just doing it out of your own benefit, right? <laughs> yes, of, of course you are. We're, um, we're on a mission after all. Uh, this wouldn't be happening otherwise, right? Yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, you're, you're done, right? You can, you can get off me now. <laughs> oh, I'm a fool, am I? Would you care to help this fool up, then? Okay. Okay. I'm good. Keep holding my hand. See, I'm a bit of a fool. I might lose you. Don't want that to happen, do I? Who 
us there! Calm down, Dev, it's just us. Oh, thank the gods! Sister, good to see you too. The ship sensors aren't working, it's like they've shut down or something. Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> Alright, you obviously know what's going on. What is it? Before we get to that, I think you're forgetting something, Dev. What? I need you to touch me. Excuse me? You heard me. Don't worry, I don't bite. You just gotta trust me. Think you can do that? You mean to test if you're an illusion, don't you? Yeah, thought it was obvious. Come here then. There! Happy now? You sound disappointed, brother. Albus, when am I not disappointed by something you've done? Point taken. So, do you care to tell me what in the hell is going on with these visions now? You'd like to know more too, Faithful. Alright, fine. This place we're in surrounds the core of Emprazeum. It's called the Land of Dreaming Death. In this place is a monster called a Black Wraith. It's said to be created by the mind of a slumbering core hunter that couldn't be killed. Why have I never heard of any of this? I was getting to that. Basically, the Land of Dreaming Death can only be talked about while you're in it. You physically cannot say the name of this place, nor can you speak of your time here anywhere else. What happens if you try to? You explode. What? Just kidding. But you will go nuts if you keep trying, so just don't. And the visions? The Black Raids cause them. It's weird though, they don't kill, they just stalk you and probe you with visions. Wait, are you saying this ship has been infiltrated by these things? That looks about right, yeah. Okay, so how do we kill them? No, absolutely not, we cannot kill them. What? Why? Well, it's only a rumor passed around by those who know this place, but uh, apparently if one is killed, the core hunter wakes up. And uh, you know what that means? The core of Emprazeal. It'll be destroyed! And the entire planet goes bye-bye. But how do you know it's all true? I don't. But you really want to test that? I suppose not. Well, what can we do then? I'm glad you asked. That's the best part. What do you mean? Oh no. Oh yes! We're gonna get smashed! Why? Black Raids like sane minds. If you're drunk, they'll piss off. Albus, I... I've never been drunk before. <laughs> Ooh, baby's first beer. Albus, I'm serious. I'm... I'm kind of nervous about this. So you're telling me you'd rather be sane dealing with me when I'm drunk? Pass me a bottle. There's a good man. Faithful, come on, you t Okay, down in one. I'm kind of impressed. Where'd you learn that? In my head. <laughs> I see you had a good teacher then. Well then, shall we have a toast? I'd rather not. A toast it is to, uh, uh not dying. Fuck it. That's as good as any. That's the spirit. Albus, shut up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I told you to shut up. <laughs> good gods above you, a lightweight. You haven't even finished your first drink. It tastes bad. Leave me alone, you jerk. You're not supposed to taste it. You're supposed to down it in one. You can't tell me what to do. Oh boy, I'm not even close to drunk yet. I think it's time for another. Faithful, how are you holding? Easy there. Don't hug me so tight. You might split the bandages. Faithful, language. That's unbecoming of a sister of Syndagorn, don't you think? Oh my god. I never thought I'd be saying that. Maybe I am drunk. Why do you hate me so much? <laughs> what did you say? Like, I'm really trying here, you know? And I want you to like me. No one else does, and I just... I just want friends. Like, is that so much to ask for? What are you talking about, Devlin? You have friends. What about those 4chans at the depot? Oh, please, I pay those people. You think they count as friends? I'm better than no friends at all. Oh, of course you would say that. You don't know what it's like. Everyone expects so much of me all the time. Even my so-called friends. Meanwhile, you get to be free and confident. And yeah, people hate you, but it doesn't hold you back. Me, it's like every little thing matters. God, I'm so jealous of you. <laughs> Can you stop making me spit up my drink? <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. Please don't start drunk crying. Not sure I can handle that right now. Hey! Faithful, stop poking me. What? What's wrong? Oh, gods, you too. You want a hug? Go hug Devlin. 
You two deserve each other. Oh, shut the fuck up right now, Albus. <clears throat> what? What did I say? When are you going to be a fucking man and admit your feelings for her? I see the way you look at her. I see the way she looks at you. You're both so perfect together. Uh, and yeah, I have feelings for her. Yeah, sure, I fantasize a little bit, but you know what? I am rooting for you guys. You're both... You're both so cool, and... I love you guys. And he passed out. No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> He's rooting for us, is he? <laughs> what a dumbass. Why? Why do you keep calling me dumbass? What did I do to you? Nothing. I love you too, brother. Wh what? I said I love you. You might not see it, but I've seen it every day since we met. And this whole trip has proven to me that you're one hell of a man. The whole ship would have fallen apart ages ago if it hadn't been for you. You fought a demon off with your fucking mind, and you saved us from Brent when he thought I killed his wife. Sure, I, I, you could have trained to become a knight like dear old dad just to impress the fucker, but you stuck to what you were doing. You made something of yourself. Yeah, people hound you, they, they want more from you, but you always deliver. Me? Oh yeah, sure, wild and free, but... <sighs> you know how many times I've wanted to kill myself? How many times I've had to keep secrets because no one can trust me? Oh, oh, and, and, and the things I, I could have told you both. And, and, and you know, he's right. I am in love with you, Faithful, but I'll never act upon it. I'll never hurt you. Your, your innocence is what gives me so much life. It reminds me that there's, uh, there's undying goodness in this world. Yet, no, no matter, no wonder you, you feel useless here. It, it, this is bad place. This is a bad place where, where only the worst could survive. You look out, out, out of this place here, okay? You, yeah, I, I do love you. Mm, I do love you, Faithful, and, and it's because I love you. I can't be with you. You deserve a good life. <coughs> you deserve a good life. Think about it. Okay, just two seconds, just think about it. If you and I were to get together, all right? I can't promise you'll be safe. Well, I, I don't even know if, if, you, if I trust you around me, right? Let alone me around you. We'll, we'll be on the run, hunt to wherever we go. And you, you want to save a child that the triad wants dead too? You're fucking mental. I, I can't even keep both of you safe while we're out here, okay? And, and at this point, I've almost died so many times, I feel like karma's gonna get me soon. But you know who can take care of you? My idiot genius brother over there, yeah? Uh, what was that? Well, Devlin, you have a life. There is no life with me. You, you once said you were rooting for us, Devlin. I'm rooting for you too. But Albus, shut the. F can, can you take care of her? Well, yeah, I guess. But and you love her, right? Uh, of course I do. But I. So have some confidence, big brother. You want to be like me? Don't. Be better than me. I'm your villain, after all, ain't I? You. You do all that for me. I've been doing it this whole time, for all my brothers and sisters. You just don't see it. As much as you all might hate me, I love you guys so fucking much. Albus, are you crying? Oh shit. Uh, I... I didn't want you to see me like this. Do you... Do you want a hug? No. I can't stand hugs. I don't trust them. But... why? I can't tell you. You don't want to feel that pain. Is there anything we can do? Promise me something. Both of you. When you both get out of here, never stop being yourselves. Whether you're together or not, just fucking live! Okay? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> That's all I want. And now, it's time for a nap. Yeah, I'm... I think I'll join you. Sister, maybe you should lie down too? You don't want to, to hurt yourself.
Ah, uh, sister, you're here. I've been waiting for you. Could you keep an eye on the children? I received a note from their headmaster. He wants to talk with me in private. I would assume it's about where they're headed next. Thank you. Sister, I leave them in your care. Where did Big Brother go? He's busy? Oh. I was gonna ask him for help, but... What's wrong? I... I lost my Fluffle and I can't find him. He's really important to me. Can you help me find him? Please? You will? Oh, thank you, big sister! <laughs> Where do I see him last? Follow me! My name is Karano, by the way. It's nice to meet you. Huh? What clan am I? What's a clan? Oh, like a family? Well, I guess Fluffle is my family. That makes me Clan Fluffle. Parents? Oh, I think I don't have those. I heard people say it's because I'm an orphan. Big sister? What does that mean? Big sister? Oh! We're here! Let me show you where he was. Let me think. He was right over... Here! That's right! Fluffle was helping me build a mouse! Yes! A mouse! A mud house! I call it a mouse. I'm gonna live in a big mouse one day. Big sister? What's so funny? Oh, you like my mouse? Thanks! Me and Fluffle worked really hard. I'm gonna build a real one someday. And I'm gonna have friends come over to play with me too. No, I don't have any friends either. They think I'm weird. But I don't know why. It's not my fault Fluffle is a self-defense genius. I miss Fluffle. What does he look like? Um, he's blue. He has two ears and one eye. He lost the other eye in a secret war against the Scorpions. Oh, uh, don't be scared, Big Sister. He won. He was the bravest Fluffle in the secret army. Could he be... Anywhere else? Um, I don't know. Big sister, I'm, I'm scared. What if he ran away? What if I never see him again? He's always kept me safe. Will I see him again? Are you sure? Okay, I believe you, big sister. I'll be strong for Fluffle too. Is there anywhere he could be? Um. Uh, oh, I did go inside for breakfast. Maybe he's there. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I left him inside somewhere. I'll go find him. Ah, sister, thank you for taking over to me earlier. You've been most helpful. Sister, you look perturbed. Is everything alright? You're looking for Karano. I see. She's a strange child, isn't she? An unmarked orphan with no clan? Sister? 
There's something you should know about Karano. Please sit down. You see this envelope? Look at the seal. The headmaster of the children delivered this to me personally. It comes directly from the Paladin King's Holy Council. It seems I'm moving up in the world. I agree. This is wonderful news. To be recognized by the crown is a great honor for anyone. What did the letter say? It was a letter of mission request. I am to journey to the core of Brazil and perform a sacred ritual to rid our world of a dangerous threat. What kind of threat? A threat to the god, sister. A threat to all we stand for. All we worship. A threat to our very way of life. I'm actually quite surprised. I thought someone would have told you by now. What does it have to do with Karano? Sister, there's no easy way to say this. Karano is a threat. She's being taken to the core separately and prepared for my arrival. The letter provides details of a prophecy. Karano has set all markers in fitting the prophecy. Sister, Karano is the god killer. Don't raise your voice at me. I'm doing this to get us in good graces of the Triad. No longer will we be living in a pathetic hovel at the edge of the Eastern Faithlands. I know that you might be nostalgic for this rundown shack dressed as a place of worship, but I, we, hate living like this. How do I know? How do I know what? That Karano is truly the god killer? It doesn't matter. If the Triad wants Karano to die, the Karano must die. It doesn't matter what you think is right. This is how the world works. We give ourselves unto the gods, and they provide us with life upon which to live. Are you living life, sister? What about the life of Karano? How many times must I say this to you? It doesn't matter. She doesn't matter. All she is, is a tool for us to use. Would you really have our family spend the rest of their lives in squalor? All for the sake of a child who would sooner kill us all? You disappoint me, sister. Your naivety and closed-mindedness is very telling of your knowledge of the outside world. You're immature and inexperienced. If it weren't for our dear mother, Coria, you would have starved to death. Or worse, at least I'm trying to make our loves better. At least I'm not dwelling in my uselessness. Where are you going? Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm afraid Mother Coria already knows. This goes for the rest of the clan as well. As I've said, you are the last to hear about this. Clan Coria is in full support. Except for you. You can't stop me. Best you accept the world as it is now. I'll be leaving soon. Goodbye, my foolish sister. I'm certain your disposition will change when I return successful. Still desperate to stop me, are you? How useless. Fine, be that way. Even so, who would help you? This is the will of the Triad. No sane warrior would be willing to help you in such a sacrilegious quest. You'd be going against your family and your faith. And if you know what's good for you, you'll never speak of this outburst again. Do you understand? By the way, I found this toy out in the hallway. It's an ugly little thing, isn't it? It's missing an eye too. I believe it belongs to one of the children. Would you mind returning it? Morning, Muffin. How are you feeling? I think I'm gonna die. First time, eh? <laughs> yeah, I remember my first time. Actually, I take it back. I don't. 
can you just shut up for once in your life? Oh gods, I think I'm going to throw up. Faithful? You doing okay? <laughs> yeah, we're safe. No one's hurt. Hey, you remember what happened? No, you don't, okay? Whatever you remember, you don't. Never speak of it, okay? You can't move, can you? Oh boy, hangovers all round, eh? Want me to turn the lights off? What good will it do? Yeah, watch. Feel better? <laughs> yeah, you do. Don't ask me how it works. It just does. <laughs> Why am I not hungover? <laughs> oh, I am. I'm just better at it than you. Uh... Okay, I'm back. Whoa, why are the lights off? It helps. It does? It does. By the gods, it does. what I tell you? Wow, I feel almost normal. It's great, right? Yeah, I think I could probably get some work done even. Nope, you're both walking your asses to bed. What? But we just got up. You both need time to recover. This is your first hangover. You need to take care of yourselves. And I'm not fully recovered from my injuries either, you know? Ugh, fine. At least let me triangulate our position. Okay, just don't take too long. Alright, let's see... Oh. Oh! Oh, that's... What? What is it? Sister, look! We've made it! That's the core of Emprazil, right there! And right over here... is the inner temple! We finally made it! 